All right, shoot this way. Hunt him up. It looks like a good boy. Let's Thank talk you. about your man, Cooper. your man Cooper over here. He was born on the last day of grouse season. We knew he was going to be special. It was the first pup I'd ever raised. I watched him come out, and he wasn't that big. And he and Deuce lived their whole puppyhood right beside my wood burning stove in the living room. Cooper just come out natural. Four months old, he was pointing. At five months old. Steve woed him one time when another dog was backing, or pointing, and he backed from now on. I didn't have to do anything. He's the easiest dog that I ever fooled with. Okay. Hold him over. He got sprayed by a skunk the last day of grouse season. Everybody thought it was funny. The next day, I noticed his eye looked a lot, and uh, I took him to the vet. He caught a disease called blastomycosis. I'd never heard of it. Nobody I knew heard of it. Uh, my vet, Wayne Bailey, had diagnosed it, and he said, well, you know, we, need, we need to get this dog to Cincinnati. So we took him to Cincinnati to Dr. Kettering. I, I can kind of tell that maybe bird hunters weren't his first choice of people to bring dogs up there. I'd say he probably maybe had some bad times with them, guys that figured that their dogs weren't any good if they couldn't see. And uh, he asked me if I wanted to save the dog, and I said, yes. I thought we were just going up there to get some eye ointment or something. I had no idea that this could kill my dog. He said, well, this eye's got to be removed, and that was like a blow to the gut. We may, uh, may be able to save the other one, and I, you know, my best friend, my, the, one of the best dogs that I've ever seen in the field, all of a sudden is going to be blind. He went completely blind for a while, and he couldn't even find his food bowl. And I was talking about maybe putting him down. This is no life for a bird dog. And my wife and my daughter told me real quick, they said, well, that's good to know. If you ever go blind, we'll put you down. So it was over with. Cooper's going to stay. Cooper, the bird dog, may be over with, but Cooper, my best friend, will have a long and happy life. And as you can see, <laughs> he's right here with us. He just runs into a few things. But uh, he'll be here at the end of the day just with the rest of the dogs. He loves it. All right, shoot. This way. Hunt him up. Find a bird now. Come on. We're on TV. But he's so excited. He, hasn't, he doesn't get a grouse hunt much. He only gets to quail hunt. The green briars uh, in the grouse woods are just hard on him. And fences, ditches, you know, he can't see. He has no depth perception. Come here, bud. I've got to steer him. I am basically his seeing eye human. Right. And he and I are partners with it. When we come to a tough spot, I heal him up. He goes through. He knows that he can't see. But uh, there's no quit in him. Cooper checks in a lot. He depends on me so much, man. He, he really does. All right, well, this way. He's got a different gait, doesn't he? He's feeling, like you said. Yeah, he is. If you'll notice him, he's, he's, he's trying to feel where he's, what's going on with it as far as the train, how the train rolls. So what causes that disease of the eye? I mean, it's... Man, it's a, it is, it's a fungus that comes out of the ground. No It's kidding. an airborne spore, and it can come from a dead animal that's been buried in the ground for 20 years. Okay. Uh, it can come out of just mulch. It can come out of dirt. You gotta carry two bottles of water when Cooper comes, because he, 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 most of the time he likes Avion, but uh, he will drink Nestle. When he first went blind, he didn't want me loading him up in the back of the truck. He fought me when I tried to pick him up to put him in the back of the truck. So after trial and error of jumping up, hitting his head a few times, hitting his nose a few times, I tap on the tailgate, he touches it with his chin, and he loads himself up. Mike never quit believing in him. His heart's into this type of hunting. And when he sees them dogs work, he'd rather do that than anything else. If the dog has a heart as big as Mike's is, and neither one of them's going to quit. Hey, she did it. Okay, man. <laughs> He's been to Nebraska, Wisconsin, hunting grouse and pheasants. 
Uh, he doesn't get to find the birds that all the other dogs get to find, but he's uh, he's out there trying every day. You know, animals get depressed. There's no depressed. Uh, no, he never did. He never did. From day one, he never got depressed. He uh, he just kept going. That day, I turned the corner and I didn't tell him to back, and he was backing. Man, that was a good day. Cooper. Blind dog coming through. You better watch out because he's have to run over top of it. All the other dogs have adjusted to him. Right. Uh, they know when Cooper comes bounding through that you watch out. He's have to just run over top of you. Okay, shoot. Let's hunt him up. Give, give, give. That's a happy dog, you know. He is a happy dog. He's just happy to be out. <laughs>